The Samsung Note series might have been discontinued long ago, but its legacy carries on with the S24 Ultra. So that means you've got all of the awesome Note features, including the super useful nifty S Pen. And let me tell you, the S Pen is a fully integrated part of your smartphone and it's got a ton of features that you are absolutely going to love. So in this video, I am going to go over each and every feature of the S Pen and also show you all of its settings so that you can fully utilize its functionality. So subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notifications to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Alright, so let's begin. Alright, so when you take the S Pen out, the first thing you're gonna see is this Air Command menu. And this contains features that are specific to the S Pen. Now, your Air Command menu might have a fewer features listed here. If so, what you want to do is tap on the Add button and then add the S Pen feature shortcuts to the Air Command menu from this list. This way, you'll have easy access to the features that are specific to the S Pen. And we're going to come back to all of these features in just a bit. You're also going to see a tab which says 100%. This shows you the level of charge inside the S Pen. You see, the pen on the S24 Ultra connects to the phone via Bluetooth and this functionality enables something called the Air Actions, which allows you to use the S Pen as a remote in certain applications. Like if you press and hold the button on the pen, that's gonna launch the camera. And now you can use the S Pen to control the camera. So press the button and the camera will take a photo. Flick the S Pen up to switch the cameras and flick it down to switch back to the rear camera. You can also press the button and rotate the S Pen clockwise to zoom in and also activate the telephoto cameras. And rotating counterclockwise will zoom out and also activate the ultra wide lenses. And you can even change the camera modes by flicking your S Pen from right to left and from left to right. Awesome! So you don't even need to touch the screen to use the camera. You can do it all using the S Pen. And using the same method, you can also give a slideshow in the gallery. And this functionality also works when you view the phone's display on a big TV. So you don't even need to keep your phone in your hands. Just use the S Pen to give a slideshow of your photos and videos to your family. And not only that, you can use the S Pen to control the music player. And this allows you to increase or decrease the volume. And you can also navigate through your playlist. That is awesome, right? And heck, you can even use the S Pen to navigate through your phone. So press and hold the button on the S Pen and do this gesture. So that takes us to the previous screen. And finally, this gesture takes us straight to the home screen. This feature is called Anywhere Actions and let me show you this in a bit more detail. So drop down the notification panel and go to settings. Then scroll down to advanced features, tap on S Pen and Air Actions. So here you've got something called Anywhere Actions. And if you take a look over here, these S Pen gestures correspond to the navigation icons at the bottom of the screen. So if I press and hold the button on the S Pen and do the back gesture, that takes us to the previous screen. The home gesture takes us to the home screen and finally the recents gesture opens up the recents screen. This is amazing, right? Now there are two more gestures available. Doing this bottom and up gesture opens up the smart select screenshot tool. And using this, you can snip any part of the screen and take a screenshot. And if you scribble the S Pen, the phone will take a screenshot and allow you to write on the screenshot that it has just taken. By the way, you can customize these. You can just tap on a particular gesture and select something else from over here. So now that we have set WhatsApp, if I press and hold the button on the pen and do the bottom up gesture, that's going to launch WhatsApp. Oh, and that reminds me that you can even change what happens when you press and hold the button on the pen. And you guys know by default it opens the camera but if you want you can change this to a different app or anything you like from this list. So there are infinite possibilities when it comes to customization of the S Pen. 
So the Air Actions is the remote control part of the S Pen. Now we will move on to the features that you would normally expect from a stylus. We'll be starting off with the Air Command menu which you can open by tapping on the little pen icon on the right side of the screen. And this menu also pops up whenever you remove the pen from the phone. Now, most of these are pretty self-explanatory like the first one directly lets you create a note. And speaking of creating notes, you don't even need to wake the phone up to create a new note. Because if you remove the S Pen while the screen is off, this activates a feature called the Screen Off Memo. And this feature lets you take notes even when the screen is off. I find this feature extremely useful for taking down contacts and email addresses. Also, check this out. If we open the note that we just took down in the screen off memo, enter into the reading mode by pressing on this button and hover the S Pen over the email, the phone gives you an option of actually sending the mail to the email address that we just wrote. And same goes for the phone number. Just hover the S Pen over the phone and you can actually dial the number right from Samsung Notes. That's amazing. It's really the little things like these that makes this phone so much more awesome. Alright, so coming back to the Air Command menu, the second option launches Samsung Notes and it will show you all of the notes that you have created. And here's a tip, if you hover the S Pen over a note, it will give you a slightly zoomed in view. Just makes it easier to see what you've got. Now, here's the interesting part. You can actually convert your handwritten notes into plain simple text. So open any handwritten note and then make sure that you are in the drawing mode you should be able to see different types of pens over here. Now tap on the cleanup handwriting icon, it's this one. And the phone is gonna give you two options. So from here, you can convert your handwritten notes into plain simple text, which you can copy and paste wherever you want on the phone. Now in the same menu, you've got another option which says align handwriting. And this is gonna straighten your handwritten notes, which makes everything look pretty. You can also change different aspects like the color and the thickness of your handwriting. So all you have to do is tap on the change style button which is this one. Pick the color that you want to change to and then adjust the thickness. And now all you have to do is select the letters on the handwritten note that you want to modify. So you can see that changes the color and the thickness of the handwriting. Another thing that you can do is select the lasso tool and then Select your handwritten note and now you can adjust its size and place it wherever you like. So this is gonna give you a lot of flexibility. I also love to draw shapes with the stylus but as you can see they are far from being perfect. So if you wanna draw perfect shapes, tap on the auto fix shape icon before you start drawing. This is the feature that you will need to enable. And now the phone is gonna straighten out the lines and the shape itself. Awesome, right? It just makes the handwritten note look more professional. Now, did you know that you can search for your notes, including the handwritten ones using the phone's search engine? So what we're gonna do is exit out of the Samsung Notes app and then open the app drawer and tap here to open the search feature. So let's type in chocolate because one of our notes has the word chocolate in it. And there you go, that's the note with the word chocolate in it. So that's gonna make searching for notes super easy. So coming back to the Air Command menu, the third option here is the Smart Select Screenshot tool. And this is a slightly more advanced way of taking screenshots because this has a couple of predefined shapes that you can use while taking screenshots. Like there is the rectangle option. This will take a screenshot in a rectangle. The next one is Lasso and this is my favorite because this will let you take a screenshot in whatever shape you like. You've also got Oval for oval screenshots and the ability to record an animated GIF. But one of the best features is the ability to extract text out of photos using the S Pen. Let me demonstrate. So here is a photo with some text in it. Now we're gonna open the Air Command menu and tap on Smart Select. Now just highlight the area of the image that contains text. Once you are done, tap on the T button and you will see that the phone extracts the text out of the photo which you can copy and paste wherever you want because this is just plain simple text. It even gives you an option to add the extracted text to a note in Samsung Notes app. 
So that's going to make saving text from a screenshot a lot easier. Now, if you're trying to save text from a web browser, you can just press and hold the button on the S Pen and highlight the text that you want to copy. And once you release the button on the pen, this menu with the option to copy, share, etc, etc will pop up. So there are many ways to copy and paste text using the S Pen. Now it's 2024 and obviously you've got AI features built right into the Samsung Notes app. So tap on this button and you've got auto format which will automatically create headers and bullet points. And you can actually check out the different styles by scrolling like this. This is gonna be very useful. Next, you've also got the option of creating notes for a meeting. Then you can also ask the phone to summarize whatever you've written in a note which I think is an awesome feature. So take a look. And next, you've got the spelling correction, which will correct any incorrect spellings. And you can even translate your note to another language. So these are the AI features that Samsung Notes has to offer. I absolutely love these. Now here's the fun part. Samsung Notes allows you to collaborate with anyone who's got a Samsung smartphone. And this will allow two people to work on the same note. Let me show you how this works. Okay, so there are two ways to start a collaboration. You can either choose to collaborate with a note that you're already working on by tapping on these three dots and then selecting invite collaborators. Or you can go back to all notes tap on the hamburger menu and then head on into shared notes. Here you can start a collaboration on a new note from scratch. You've got two options. You can either add people through their contacts or add their Samsung account or invite them to work on the note through a shared link. So let us select the link option and we will send this link over through WhatsApp onto this phone, which is a Galaxy Flip. So here's the link and once we tap on the link, it will automatically integrate itself into Samsung Notes. So check this out. If I type something on the flip, it will automatically appear on the S24 Ultra. And it also works the other way around. So if I type something on the S24 Ultra, it will automatically appear on the flip, as you can see. So that's how you can collaborate on a note. And you can add up to nine participants from over here. So this is a feature that you must absolutely try on your Samsung smartphone. It's not just limited to the S24 Ultra, you can do this on pretty much any Samsung flagship. The fourth option in the Air Command menu is called Screen Write. And as the name suggests, this takes a screenshot and allows you to directly write on the screen. You even get an option to choose the type of pen. So this feature is awesome for annotations on a screenshot. Now for creating awesome digital art using the S Pen, you've got a dedicated app called PenUp. It's got a pretty decent sized community and they share their artwork here, which you can also do. And if you like something, you can set this as your wallpaper. Pretty amazing, right? And if you want to draw something, scroll back up and then tap on drawing. And the phone is gonna open up a blank canvas and you've got all the tools here to make your very own masterpiece. Just look at the selection of different pens and brushes. Holy moly guys, that is awesome. And if you are new to drawing and art, you can always check out the live drawing tutorials and learn how to draw using the S Pen. So there are a ton of features in this app. The next one is write on calendar and as the name suggests, this allows you to put annotations on the calendar. So you might have an appointment or a birthday coming up. Using the write to calendar feature, you can quickly mark it down over here. And the best part is you will be able to see the annotations in the regular calendar app. The next one is Bixby Vision and this has two components, a text translator and an image search tool. So all you have to do is hover the S Pen over an image and then fine tune the selection. Then tap on the image icon and the phone will search for similar looking images on the internet. And if the image contains text, you've got the option to translate the text into any language you want. 
And speaking of translator, there is a dedicated translator in the air command menu just for the S Pen. This is something that I actually use on a daily basis because I get comments in many different languages and this feature makes it so much easier to translate comments to English. So let's make sure it's set to phrase translation and now if I hover my S Pen over the text, you will see that the phone translates the entire sentence. So there you go. This tool is gonna make translating stuff a lot easier. And the final item in the air command menu is the magnifier. So all you have to do is hover your S Pen over the screen to magnify. You can even select the level of zoom. And this can come in very handy to read small text. So these are all of the S Pen specific features available in the Air Command menu. However, if you head on into the camera and then go to the More tab and then tap on AR Zone, here you're gonna see something called AR Doodle. And here you can record videos and draw something simultaneously. So for demonstration, we can do cat ears. So there you go. Forgive me guys, I'm not a great artist, but yeah. Anywho, if you like, you can also change the pen and its color. But yeah, AR Doodle is a fun way to get super creative with the camera. Now, did you know that you can actually change how the Air Command menu looks and feels? There are plenty of styles to choose from. And not only that, you can even customize the pointer of the S Pen. Let me show you how it's done. So all you have to do is open the Galaxy Store. And from here, search and download the Pentastic app. And this is the app that is specifically designed to change the looks and feel of the Air Command menu. Plenty of styles to choose from, and you can even change the pointer, sound, and also customize the double tap shortcut. So by default, if you hold the button on the pen and double tap the screen, it's gonna create a new note. And by using this app, you can change this shortcut to anything you like. So you absolutely must download this app on your S24 Ultra. So this was a complete rundown of all the features of the Galaxy S24 Ultra's S Pen. Now let's move on to the settings. Alright, so to access the settings, all you have to do is open the Air Command menu and then tap on the gear button. And there you go. Now, I have already explained the air actions along with anywhere actions in the starting of the video. So we're gonna skip this part and start from the settings for the air command menu. From here, you can change the style of the air command menu from standard to compact. So you can set this to whichever you feel comfortable with. Then you can customize the shortcuts that appear in the air command menu. And again, this is something that I've already shown you. Next, you can switch off this air command icon using this toggle. So if the little pen icon bothers you, you can always switch it off. Then you've got the option to open the air command menu by hovering the S Pen over the screen and then pressing on its button. So I think this is quite useful. Next, you've got the settings for the air view. So what is air view and what does it do? Well, first off, air view enables the pointer on the screen. And secondly, you might have noticed that when you hover your S Pen over certain items like your albums and photos, the phone will give you a preview of what's inside. And secondly, you can also scroll using the S Pen by hovering it over the edges of the screen. This feature can be super useful, yet sometimes it can be annoying. So that is why you've got the option of tweaking this feature. Changing this to pointer only disables the preview and scrolling with the S Pen feature. And changing this to previews only will disable the pointer but it will leave all of the other features enabled. So the preview feature and the edge screen scrolling works but the pointer is hidden. So the choice is yours. I prefer having both of these on because they are super useful. Next up, we've got S Pen to text. And this is a super awesome feature that lets you write on the screen and the phone automatically converts your handwriting into text that you can send. That is super awesome, right? So you don't even need to use the keyboard. Just use the S Pen to write something. It takes a little while to get used to, but once you do, you'll be able to use this flawlessly. And the best part about this is that if you make a mistake, you can just cross out the text like this and it will get deleted. 
So this is Backspace. Additionally, it also puts up a little toolbar with the option of adding emojis. You've got your space key, Backspace, and this opens up the keyboard and the Enter key. So this is a super awesome feature. And the setting here lets you enable or disable the S Pen to Text feature. Oh, and by the way, this S Pen to Text feature only works if you've got the Samsung keyboard selected and enabled in these settings. The next setting deals with what happens when you take the S Pen out. And you all know by default, the phone opens the Air command menu. And using this setting, we can change this to create a note. So now when you take the S Pen out, the phone will create a blank note for you to type or draw something. And then you have the option of do nothing. So if you have this selected, now when you take the S Pen out, nothing is gonna happen. You know what, I'm gonna keep this on do nothing because sometimes the error command menu gets in the way and you can always open it by tapping on this pen button. When you take the S Pen out while the screen is off, the phone activates a feature called the screen off memo. And this feature allows you to take notes without waking the phone up. In my opinion, this is a super useful feature. And this next setting allows you to toggle the screen off memo functionality. My suggestion is to leave it on because it is super useful. When you press and hold the button on the S Pen, then tap the screen twice, the phone creates a new note. And this feature is called Quick Note and you have the option of switching it off from over here. Now let's go into the more S Pen settings because we've got a couple of them here. And the first one is my favorite because this will let you unlock the phone using the S Pen. So you guys know that the phone locks itself when you leave it idle for a couple of seconds depending on your lock screen timeout settings. And you have to enter your pin or use the biometrics to get back in. Now if you enable this S Pen unlock feature, you can unlock the phone just by pressing the button on the S Pen. So there you go. That is awesome. And this works only when you have the S Pen in your hands. If you lock the phone and then take the pen out and try to unlock, it will not work. So you have to unlock the phone first and only after that if the phone gets locked, you can unlock using the S Pen. So it is pretty secure. This next feature enables you to use more than one S Pen on your phone. So you can see that the original S Pen is inside the phone. And here I've got the S Pen from my old Galaxy Note 9. And as you can see, it works just fine. So this feature is going to be super useful if you've got a spare S Pen lying around. Although enabling this feature will use slightly more battery. Now, when you remove the S Pen from the phone, you might have noticed that it shows connecting for a brief second. This is because the S Pen uses Bluetooth low energy to connect to the phone so you can use it as a remote. It takes a fraction of a second for the S Pen to connect to the phone, but sometimes it fails to connect like in this clip. So if you want the S Pen to be always connected to your phone and have a more reliable connection, you can enable the Keep S Pen Connected option. Then it will always stay connected to your phone even when it's inside. So as soon as you remove the pen, it's always connected, ready to go. But there is an obvious downside to this because Enabling this feature will use more battery, but it will make the connection more reliable. The next setting is quite crucial and I would recommend that you leave it on because this is gonna remind you whenever you walk away without putting your S Pen in your phone. So let's leave the pen here and walk away with our phone. And it's gonna show us that hey, we have left the S Pen behind. And there you go. So this is a super useful feature. And the last two settings controls the sound and the haptic feedback that you get when you remove the S Pen from the phone. And also the scribbling sound whenever you write on the screen. So if you don't like this, you can always switch it off. And finally, if your S Pen isn't working properly or refuses to connect to your phone, then you can tap on these three dots and then select Reset S Pen. And this will fix most of the connectivity issues. And you can also connect the S Pen Pro to your Galaxy S24 Ultra. 
all right guys so i think that covers all of the features and settings related to the s pen if you've got any questions leave them in the comments down below and i'm gonna try and answer them and if you've enjoyed watching this video make sure that you watch the other videos on the s24 ultra because i've got plenty of them on the channel and as always if you have enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to hack the algorithm share the video with your friends and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Tech Guy Charlie signing off.